Peace. Jiasun here, Far Eye Studios. I'm hoping that you're well. Today's installment of Art Breakdown is about one of my favorite all-time paintings, Lotus Takes Time. I know I'm biased, but I love it. I love it. I love what it stands for. I love what it means. Moreover, I love how people resonate and respond to it when they see it and when we're actually able to discuss it, right? So that's the intention behind these art breakdowns is to kind of talk a little bit deep, more deeply than what the poems say or what my website says, right? So let's get in it. Lotus Takes Time is all about relationship. If you've rocked with me before, then you know I'm always talking about that we're in relationship with everything, living and non-living at all times, okay? In this case, we are talking about love us, be love us, okay? Now, the lotus flower is considered to be one of the most beautiful flowers on the planet. I'm intrigued by this flower. It has grit like no other. Check it out. So how it grows is a seed is at the bottom of a pond and the seed starts to grow, germinate and grow and it's reaching for the light. And when it comes out of the water, it opens up and Beautiful. Now, if you take a minute and slow it down and visualize what I just explained, that seed has to go through all the mud, the murk, the mire. I'm guessing all their physical challenges like fish and tadpoles and eels and boaters and, and you know fishing nets and so on and so on. Okay? And yet the flower decides it's going to grow towards the light. Now, one other thing about this painting that a lot of people don't realize until I mention it is that clearly they're a couple, they're a unit, right? King and queen, god and goddess, right? They're lovers. But notice where their gaze is. It's not fixed on their partner. It's fixed on the flower. So in this painting, the flower, the lotus flower, represents relationship why they even got together in the first place. The commitment, the soul agreements, like the intention, right? You don't want to just be in a relationship with someone just so that you're not alone. You want to be in a relationship that's intentional, that's founded in, in friendship, and that's growing and blooming. It's a place where you have to expand your being. Otherwise, you know, it's probably really not worth the time but they're not focused on their partners. Now, a lotus flower, it takes a long time to grow. So too is the process of relationship. It takes a long time to grow. Yeah, I could have picked the rose, but it doesn't go through all the challenges that a lotus flower has to go through to become, you know, beautiful, to become all that it could be. So if you're in a relationship and there's a lot of rushing involved, that's fear, that's ego, there's something wrong. Okay, because when organic and when it's natural and when it's uplifting, there is no rush. You're rushing to where? <laughs> You're already here. So then what you do is you bask and you create moment to moment experiences that spiral you upward. Right? So I am I can honestly say that in past relationships, you know, you can focus on your partner, hyper focus. You know, and even if you're not physically saying it. Right? Shooting them those energetical barbs through the thought channels, which is actually more dangerous. Okay? Uh, especially when unchecked. So the intention is not to focus on your partner and their imperfections, you know, and set expectations on them and obligations, right? And ultimatums and all this other crap, right? It's really focusing on the flower, the flower and the relationship. More than that, what's your reflection, right, bouncing back off of the relationship? Or what's your reflection bouncing back off of your lover, right? The nature of relationship is about growing and expanding, okay? So in the scriptures, it talks about focusing on the creator, not the creature. So in a spiritual partnership, God must be the third pillar, Right? Or what I would consider the first pillar, and the two people would be the uh, second and third pillars. Right? So you have this triangular situation, sacred geometry, the Trinity, 
right? So when you're focused on the creator and not the creature, you grow, right? You elevate, you vibrate at a higher frequency. Now, when you focus on the other, and na 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 na, 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 right? You're lowering the vibe, man. You're killing the vibe. If this person is the person for you, trust. That's where trust and faith comes in, right? Something's not working, right? Work on a solution together. You're a team. So reset your gaze. You know, it's it's easy to look at other people. Hard to look at self. Right? I know it is. But that's the natural order of things, man. Look at yourself. Focus on why you're there. If you're looking at the flower and you don't understand anymore why you're there, it's probably time to exit. It's probably time to exit. Anyway, I hope that this better explains the intention behind the painting. Right? Um, give, your, give yourself time. You have all the time. Right? A, a quality relationship is like a fine wine, baby. Let it mature. Right? Let it breathe. Right? Let the aroma of it intoxicate you. Take your time. All right? No rush here. In conscious relationships, there is no rush. I love you. Thank you for the support. I hope that you've enjoyed hanging out with me for a few minutes today. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope that you will consider doing that. If you have not joined my newsletter, I pray that you will consider doing that. I have a whole bunch of stuff getting ready to happen in 2016, and you are not going to want to miss out on it. We're going to have a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, this is a G Clay reproduction. This is not the original. This is a canvas piece. Gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. These will be available soon. Namaste.